now let's move on to the real time example for this yes or no problem thing now so in my requirement is this is like whenever let's have a look on this uh, spicejet.com website first thing here we go so i'm recording something that i have so whenever i click on that here let's have a look on this they have been on It has moved into invisible mode. Code out that still exists in the source code, but basically it has moved into invisible mode. Now I need to check that. So my requirements are like this. I need to open the website and I need to click on one way. After clicking on one way, I need to check whether this is invisible or not. According to my expectation, it should be invisible. If it is invisible, my test is passed. So let me write a simple script for it. So here, before to that, let me explain you few things. So we have a property called height, right? So height has lot of properties depending on an object. Height may be 34, or if some object has 60, some object has 50, right? Same like that, we have a property called visible. Visible. So it has two values. One is true, and other one is a false. If visible true. Visible is a property. If you give a visible set or a property of this, well, it will give out the value. If value is given as a true, then I can think that it is visible. So if the value is given as a false, then I can think that it is invisible. Visible true represents visible. Visible false represents invisible. Same like that, we have a enabled as a property. And the values also the same true and false. Unable true represents. It is unable. Unable false represents it is disabled. There is no property called disabled. Unable true and unable false. This unable is also not a property. Unable true represents unable. Unable false represents disabled. This in this scenario we will be using visible. So visible has two values true and false. Visible true represents or this is really visible. Okay? So now let's go ahead and let's write for it. The first thing what we need to write is we need to write a script for clicking on this one way. Actually, it will be in a round way, right? Whenever we open a website, now let's write a script to click on one way. One way. For that, uh, I have already added the information into the object repository. So let me drop from the object repository onto the screen. Dot select and what I need to select actually one way right the text what I need to select is one way one way let me check this using object spy so that uh, I can write appropriate one without having any errors One way O is uppercase and W is uppercase.
one way. Here we go. So it selects one way. After selecting one way, then I need to check whether it is enabled or sorry, visible or invisible. According to the expectation, it is visible, right? So let me take this information again. This is for that edit box. So we don't want to set anything, but here we need to get the property dot get RO property of visible. Now let me take this into one variable. You can use any variable. Let me take it as a VSBL so it represents visible. Okay, so I will get it as true or false. If VSBL is equal to false, right? So whenever I click on a round trip, it should get visible. It should get into invisible. No, so the answer should be false. If VSBL is equal to false, means if it is invisible, then the dot report event. MIC pass and uh, it's visible or else we can take that is uh, from date right to date invisible else means it is not false if it is true let's assume that if it is true else reporter dot report event mic fail If it is invisible, my test will pass. If it is visible, my test is failed. As simple as that. So let me run the test before the run. Let me design my test first. Okay, it is in a round trip. Perfect. Just have a look on the screen. It will first click on one way. After that, it will try to check the things. has been populated up with a message error message something went wrong yes actually it is one way we have taken a space in it there is no space for it actually okay so it's just one way so let me run this it should say it's true first of all it should check that box yeah, it should click on one way first. Then after, it should read that whether it is visible or not. Yes, it has clicked on one way. Now it's reading the things. Yes, perfect. Now it will give the result as pass. Because it is invisible, right? Perfect. The test result is 100% pass. So let it populate up the test result window. Then we can analyze it. So let's do the same example, but we'll implement it for the enabled and disabled one. Okay. 
so not only enable disable not only the visible like all the properties can be literally tested using this here to date to date is invisible so that is the reason it has been passed as simple as it okay so let me save this script so that i can send you guys so next one even we'll take one more real time example where we are working on the enabled property 